honey bourbon and some nasty shit. I think you got us on record still. You got the mics on still? No. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, yeah, he did that. that yeah, he was. Ryan. I don't do you that. Know the, you know the topic, right? <laughs> Oh, Ryan. Yo, Ryan. It's a young man. He needs more training, apparently. What's the business? We back live. It's that time when Big Business Gang Radio, yeah. powered by Podcast Detroit what and up, Exclusive Visions. Now, today, we got two interviews today. Yes, sir. And we about to get into it. We about to get into an Add Me Up Gang member, Stack B. And Ace Envy, you know. What's um, up, though? And again, it's your boy Cartier Tay, Royce fan. And we were, and you can follow me at Cartier Tay BBG, notorious fan. And we got a lot of, we got a lot of stuff we got to discuss today. You know, these fellas they gonna be starring this Sunday at the five dollar Sunday events. Mighty Wayne Bar and Grill. Yep, hosted by the one and only Royce Royce fan. fan. So yeah, that's formerly known as the Three Eleven Archer Lounge. Yes, 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 correct. Now, um, we got a lot of things we're gonna get into today. What's the topic for today, bro? Uh, when is the right time for artists to start charging for shows and features? Hmm. Interesting discussion. We got them, and then we got Stash House coming in too today. So um, we're going to get into a lot of stuff. Finesse God just dropped, and we got an exclusive release from Ace Envy featuring me. So stay tuned for that. And right now we're going to go into this first song. It's Stack B. It's off his, actually off his album, Finesse God. It's Stack Fire. B from The Hustle. And you're tuned in right now. The Big Business Gang Radio, yeah. powered by Podcast Detroit and Exclusive Visions. Dollars, twenty dollars. Spend five to get in early. Five for two drinks. Five dollars for two drinks and five dollars for chicken and fries. Hey, you, so you know where we at? We right down from the stove. I'm about to slide into the stove. Buy some chicken and fries. Oh yeah, what you say? When me and Ghost was running in and out them bandos oh, Trying to touch a couple dollars and they say still waiting on the oh, That's in the middle yeah, that's the same in the damn clothes We made pros yeah, and we set it to that damn clothes Game codes, so yeah, I hustle on, on the swivel Swivel on. Swip a magazine case a nigga want to issue Playing with my shit, bullets tearing nah, through your tissue I'm just trying to get rich yeah, And apparently it's simple, but Now I'm on the road getting 10 for a show Came a long way from paying 10 at the door Ten bad bitches on ten by the coast. I remember I was real fucking broke. Let's chill, make a toast. 
Okay, we back live on Big Business Gang Radio. Yeah. That was from the hustle from my man Stack B. Add me up, gang. From the hustle. Uh, yeah. Now yeah, from yeah. the hustle. What's going on, fellas? What's up, though? What up, though? BBG good. Radio. What up, Tay? Man, y'all can also catch them <coughs> at Five Dollar Sundays too. This Sunday performing. It's all. It's actually your the release, release party. party. Yep, your release party. We going party. crazy. And um, you doing big things like. What's going on, man? We got Add Me Up Gang in the building. Got the gang here, the whole gang. Here. Matter of fact, gang. yeah, we we missing a couple. Hustle. Yeah, we missing Hustle. Oh yeah, shout out to Hustle. Ace. He couldn't be yeah, here today. Ace. Um, and shout out to Ace for PSC. What's going on, fellas? Yes, sir. But man, let's get into this first. How did y'all? How did y'all come together as you know Add Me Up Gang? Like, how did it happen? Who want to start first? Go ahead, Ace. We want to, you want to. Okay, what? Well, um, <clears throat> for those who don't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm one of the newest, you know what I'm saying, additions uh, to Add Me Up Gang, and it's just, it's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I talked to my man here, Cartier Tay. Uh, he liked, you know what I'm saying, what I was doing as far as my music, and just asked me where was I going with it or what was I trying to do with it, and the rest is history. I'm like, uh, I'm down, you know? Uh, Stack, how did what, how did your journey lead you to Add Me Up Gang? Hey, what's funny? What's funny? You know, before I was even Add Me Up Gang, you know, um, <clears throat> I ended up coming into the Bullfrog, and it was a Cartier Tay party at the Bullfrog. I was coming there for uh for my homeboy uh, uh DJ uh who was that DJ uh DJ King David. He was okay. he having a uh, show. I had just missed it. It was your party. I think it was the release party for the Back to the Basics. You know what I'm saying? I ran into you. And um right after that, it was like the next day or uh like uh like uh two days later, it was another show and I came and performed Larry Bird. That was the single I had out at the time. Or it was that follow on weekend. That was that status. I remember I came that. to perform Larry Bird and then uh, you know, uh you was there. And uh, after I performed Larry Bird, you know, you popped at me and it was just kinda like, you know, history after that. You know what I'm saying? We just been bros after that building. You know what I'm saying? Blood couldn't make us Closer, you know what I'm saying? I forgot all about them status shows, too. Yeah, you them forgot. Used to them they used to bang. Man, you know, we talk. banged out. We banged out the status. We done been doing things for a while, man. Man. You know, it's crazy, though. Like, a lot of artists is popping in the city, too, was performing that status, too. Like, uh, I want to say, like, T Grizzly and them was on that show that night because they used to be in status all the time, man. I know. Uh, DZ was, uh, he was on them shows around that yeah, time. Yeah, they too. used to, uh, yeah, DZ used to be at the shows. T Grizzly, JR, um, Lee, All Star Lee, they used to be at status all the time. I, be- I believe they performed at the shows. Well, for sure. I know, uh, Lee Pops. Now, the next question, man, I want to ask when we going to expect, we know you got the finesse guy, we know yes, you, you got your ventures. So when we can expect the Add Me Up Gang project to come? Uh, I mean, the Add Me Up Gang project, I mean, it's pretty much ready to go after all the hits we got, bro. Right. After all the hits we yeah. got, we done put together. I mean, it's just, you know, it's all up to putting a date on it, really. Well, what you think took so long to make the date, you know, happen? Uh, just, uh, I don't know, letting bros just kind of grind, you know what I'm saying, just, just showing their own personal grind. You know, and uh, that way, when the Add Me Up Gang project do drop, it's like all these guys is like hardworking individuals, and then they still take the time and put it together as a unit and be, you know what I'm saying, and be like this powerful movement, and we all got our own following. So it's just like it's a power movement, a wave. They don't even know. <laughs> now, for you, um, now this is for whichever one of y'all can answer this. Why, um... With y'all moving so strong as a solo artist, is it hard for y'all to come together as a group and focus on Add Me Up Gang as a group with everybody so successful solo? No, I don't. I don't is think it an so. Ego thing in the group, or no, I don't. I don't actually think so at all. I think, um, I think as solo artists, we actually have already established ourselves well enough 
uh, to feel like, you know, when we come together, you know what I'm saying, we've established ourselves to where we can put, you know what I'm saying, our stuff to the side and focus on, you know what I'm saying, the bigger picture. Now, artists that, and this is for you too, um, fan, you can answer this too. Out of Add Me Up gang, of course everybody want to work with everybody, but who do you be like, okay, that you haven't got to work with, you know, really in the group, that you like, I can't wait to put something together with this artist, you know what I'm saying, or that one. Shit, me and Ace Envy, we got to put something together. I've been plotting on something too. I've mm-hmm. just been keeping a secret. Yeah. <laughs> what about me, you, Stack? Man, me, uh... <coughs> Me, me, and, me and Envy and uh, Tay are we are we got that fire coming. You know what I'm saying? Oh we yeah, got that, we got that one fire coming. But I want to work with uh, I want to work with Ace for show. You know what I'm saying? Ace of PSC. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that's that's my bro. And really, he family. You know what I'm saying? Right. On the, the low key, so you know. Uh, we got make. Yeah, we happen. we definitely gotta make yeah. something happen. Well, it's something in the works though. We've been talking on the trip. We gonna make it's hustle start rapping too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hustle. Got yeah, it. I yeah, want yeah, hustle to be on song rapping. Right. Yeah. What about he'll you? be like the Birdman? I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, for me, um, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, fan stack, Ace, hey, just about everybody, man. Like, I've actually, you know, took time out to actually do my research. I listen to these these guys' music, man, and it's it's hot, it's hot. So I mean, I can't wait. It's it's just been a long time coming, and I'm just waiting. I'm just being patient. You know, what I'm saying everything is gonna fall into place when it does. It's gonna be fire. Now, right. okay. yeah, five hundred. Now, for you, um, how did this finesse guy? Because I seen that you've been working on this since your release from um from prison. Yeah, you know. So, how did this finesse guy come about? Uh, really, the finesse guy, man. Most of the finesse guy was actually wrote, you know, uh, during my first days in prison. You know what I'm saying? When I first went to prison, I uh, I pretty much wrote, especially from the hustle. From the hustle was one of the first songs I wrote. You know what I'm saying? Actually, 23 hour man. lockdown. You know what I'm saying? That was the first one. Quarantine. You, when you, you know what I'm saying? Home. Jackson, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? I, I wrote that shit in quarantine, man. Uh, just, you know, uh, just reflecting on life, reflecting on everything I had, did, and been through. You know, uh, and it was just, it came out like that. It yeah. was a nice project. I got a chance. I actually, well, of course, I bought the album. Yeah. You know, and I, I checked it out. You was the movie. first one to buy the album. Yeah, hey, you, that's just, <laughs> I'll be on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got you a video for that. Yeah, it's a, it was a nice, it was a nice, it was a nice tape. It was a nice joint. But I noticed the same thing like with Royce when he dropped Medicine. I see a trend going. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't do too many features outside of Add Me Up Gang. Is that an A Mug trend or why? Because why is it like that? I mean, you already answered that. Go ahead, you, know, you, want, you want he already answer answered. Oh, okay. Oh, you want me to answer that? My All right, look. I feel like you know um, that you know. A lot of a lot of people out here, they got you know what I'm saying. It's good music in the city. The city coming up, so a lot of people got you know what I'm saying. Followings, you know what I'm saying. Big followings. So, as a as an Add Me Up gang member, you know what I'm saying. I I, I look at my bros like brothers, so I want to see all my bros shine. I want to see all my bros, you know what I'm saying, win. So, um, if I got if I'm if I'm creating a wave or fan creating a wave, you know what I'm saying, and we and we on each other, you know what I'm saying, side and we putting together that music, you know what I'm saying, with each other. That wave gonna follow everybody. You know what I'm saying? We create our own followings. You know what I'm saying? We create our own buzz. We ain't gotta get our name off nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Cause then we didn't create that. Now they come to fuck. They coming to fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Cause we, cause yeah. we didn't built that. And they we, can't be like, oh, I made you. No, nah, you ain't right, make right, me. Right. I ain't get my y'all name ever, off you. Now let me ask you this question too. Um, now, fan, of course, he dropped a phenomenal EP, Medicine. Oh, yeah, that's medicine. phenomenal. <laughs> no, it's not an EP, it's an album. It's an album, okay. <laughs> it don't say EP on there, it's an Correction. album. It's, right. a, it's, enough mi- it's enough minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, I thought hey, it was for real. repeat because the number <laughs> no, of songs. No, seven but, songs an album. Yeah. Now look at yeah. Kanye. Look yeah. at Nas. Kanye look at Pusha T. Music, yeah. Well, look. The question is like, when you see okay, Roy's dropping a phenomenal project. Do you hear that making finesse guy like, oh man, I gotta outdo this, or I gotta, you know, do it? Is it do it create a sense of like I gotta really come on my A game because Big Bro dropped mm-hmm. this epic, epic, you know, what I'm saying work. So yeah. how did you feel pressure hey, dropping it? Of course, of course you feel pressure. You know what I'm saying? Cause still sharp and still. You know my brother came with some hot. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta match the hot. You know what I'm saying? I gotta match it or, you know, match it, top it or whatever. Cause every project, or every song, every you know, every time we get in that studio, that booth, you know what I'm saying? It gets better. So I, we yeah. just get better. 
every time. I think for me, for that, yeah, it made because like when I heard Royce's, it made me rethink my track list. And when I heard yours, I had to go twice. So I'm like, yeah, I got to keep up with my brothers, man. They just y'all, y'all, y'all can't be the only ones dropping all this hot fire out yeah. here. Yeah. Still sharper, still. We yeah, do. we no. are our brothers keeper, for sure. No, I'm, go ahead, Kelsey. I mean, it's, I, t- I mean, from what I heard, I'm just like, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and for my music to still be in, in progress, I'm just like, man, I, I got to I gotta be on my A game, man. They they dropping hit after hit after hit. I got to be, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like I got something to prove, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it's... Well, you being a new member, I want to ask you this. Um, And you being, like, really talented because you can sing and rap. So... What direction can we find Ace Envy, and what's the plan for Ace Envy this year? We know you got the a, you do you on the A Mug album. Mm-hmm. So what's um did you drop in your own project or? Yeah, I'm actually um dropping my project in uh in August. Um, it's gonna be titled uh, "The Miseducation of Basically Everything," which is kind of like a piggyback off of uh, Lauren Hill. That's like one of my uh, biggest influential artists, and that album itself uh, done numbers. And actually, this year is his twentieth anniversary since man, the and came she ain't dropped yet. the album after that. That shit is yeah, classic, and that's it's classic. So twenty I, years later, exactly. So I feel like I gotta basically make a continuation of what she um, spoke about and what she didn't speak about. So basically, yeah, I mean that's. So this exclusive premiere that you got on Big Business Gang Radio, it comes from a movie you working on, From the Craft to the Church, I believe. Yes, yes. sir. Now tell us about this record and how it came about and about that process. Now, um, from the for those who are unfamiliar, uh, From the Craft to the Church, it's a Detroit-based movie basically um, about a, a young man basically finding his way out from the struggle from the streets of schoolcraft. For those who are unfamiliar with the craft means, it's short for schoolcraft. Um and basically going through gangs and and drugs and, and you know women and uh, it's just a whole flurry of just a lot of things and him trying to get himself together with Christ and basically it's a, a very inspirational so it's actually based on a true story and, and inspired by true events of, from a, from a guy from um, a church that I've attended so uh, the song set me free basically uh, when I sat down. And he asked me to be the uh, executive producer of the soundtrack. I was just like, man, you know, what am I going to do with this? Like, I've never, I've never actually done this before. So Set Me Free came about as I was writing because, I mean, I felt like, you know, it speaks for itself as far as the movie is concerned. Um, the guy, you know what I'm saying, he's trying to be set free from a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, have held him back so he can get to where he needs to go. And I feel like in life, that's what, um, that's what, it's a lot of things that bound us. And basically, you just want to be set free. You just want to be able to make your own path instead of following paths of other people and other artists. So, yeah. Why did you choose Cardi or Tay to be on this record? Like, what was the reasoning? I felt like it was the right time. I felt like it was the right time, and it was in perfect positioning because when I actually wrote it, I wrote it, like, for like two verses. And I'm just like, I need somebody else. I need somebody to feature on here. And, you know what I'm saying, coming out the wing, you know what I'm saying, on A-Mug, it was just like, it was. I'm like, this is perfect timing. This is a way to, you know, not only showcase something that, you know what I'm saying, is going to be big for Detroit, but also bring my brother along as well, you know what I'm saying, so we can rep that gang. So, I mean, that it was just perfect timing. Okay, and with that being said, now, um, let you, let you go ahead. Before we get to that, let you introduce it. Y'all ready for this Sunday? Yeah. We're already, bro. What can we expect this Sunday when we see y'all perform? Uh, I need to get possessed on stage. That's yeah, all I'm saying. basically. Just and yeah. like all the people that's fans, like we don't need y'all sitting in y'all chair eating our chicken wings and drinking. We need y'all front line on stage and uh, jumping line. around and shit. So exactly. uh, I'm going to make sure I call all the ladies out. Y'all go come to the stage. Y'all, the same way y'all go twerk the Jeezy is the same way y'all go twerk the a Fuck all that shit. Man, yeah, I already know. I got no, something for they ass to throw that ass for. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we go, we go, we gonna turn all the way the fuck up Sunday, man. Y'all come out the five dollar Sundays at Three Eleven Ultra Lounge, man. A mug. Now, with that shit. being said, go ahead and introduce the world your new single. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new single based off of the soundtrack for From the Crab to the Church. It is Set Me Free, myself, Ace Envy, featuring my man's right here, Cartier Tay. A mug. Five weeks on the beat. You ain't never heard this song, have you, Stat? Mm-hmm. 
We've got three minutes and like 50 seconds in this. Is somebody else jumping on the mics? Um, yeah, we should pause to if they, um, I'm waiting for them in, though. They oh, you're know. waiting for them. Yeah, okay. they've been promoting, I can though. Give you yeah. four and five. I simply don't mix well with others. Yeah, Excuse my lack of love for those running away from public issues I constantly publish. Yeah, Allow yeah, myself like time us. to adjust to what we just discussed. It can all just be a misconduct, a matter of subject. I got a bucket list of things before I kick the bucket. My mother made miracles, seeing as how she prayed for us and trusting God to cover us. The aliens, who do you trust? Yeah, aliens, yeah. regardless of how you label them, I am not perfect. Leave it to fam to remind you of who you are and the value of what your worth is. And every failure that surfaces, I'm reminded of a success greater that never ceased my drive to continue with purpose. And it's worse when best friends and family off turn frenemies. I am my brother's keeper, but believe it when I say that he's no kin to me. Even when we pretend to be. <laughs> The streets ain't the same, so I'm gone. Tell my family to come at home, so. Set me free. My spirit's been caged for so long. The streets ain't the same, so I'm gone. Tell my family to come at home, so. They say no good, be goes unnoticed. Above all, but God is where the quota is. And I quote this feeling is more open. These lame brand niggas would never ever have noticed this kid bred from the cloth. Apart from being the poet, with spoken words fill the air. Like rumors, I smell are potent. In silence, I feel is broken. Telling the man to feel me is less likely to happen with his eyes wide open. I'm a nightmare awoken. You slept on this long enough. Like skeletons in my closet with bodies before corrosion. I'm certain the streets is watching. Curtains are never closing. The sanctuary is filled with exposition of souls. And it's a stairway to heaven. At the rate where I'm going, cause hell is right here on earth and it's been that way for a moment. I'm back to set the record, no one's yeah. so fast to hold one. They you have them A-Mother niggas going to get record deals, so nigga. The real one. You know what I'm saying? Where, where we getting Drake on projects and shit. You know what I'm saying? The streets ain't the same, so I'm down. We getting the real musicians on shit. Kendrick and shit. My spirit's been caged for so long. The streets ain't the same, so I'm down. The devil keep calling, but I must abstain. Thanks to the Lord, conquered a lot of pain. Yep, so his holy mercy must obtain. I was trapped in bondage until he broke the chain. Everybody say they real, but never as they claim. But you put your trust in people, you the one to blame. Some people out here sicker than mucus. Quick to turn on you like they first name was Judas. Used to ride through the east side with my mags. Up in high school selling nick and dime bags. Went through my struggles nobody was around went from a jail cell to a cap and gown i look back and smile change my lifestyle mama i hope you proud and bragging on me loud mama spent many nights praying on me thank the lord for his grace because he set me free my spirit's been caged for so long you gotta take that from the street the same so i'm Thirty seconds. 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 Thirty We back live on Big Business Gang Radio, yes, powered by Podcast Detroit yeah. and Exclusive Visions. Now, that was my man's Ace Envy at me up gang member. Show yes, so Ace uh, Envy, show you show. know, featuring Cartier Tay, set me free. Powerful record, man. Powerful yeah. record. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Powerful, man. Was that, is that some, when, when we go, can we expect the visual for that? Like, and when you going to start performing that for the churches? And man, soon, very soon, like. July, August. Uh, it's getting down to the nitty gritty of everything, and the movie comes out uh, soon as well. So expect a visual coming very, very soon. That powerful. Hey, y'all call in too. Y'all can call in and get your opinions on that record too. That that's gonna be in our rotation most definitely. Set me free. The, the world premiere. Yes. Now, mm-hmm. now, big bro, fan. What is the topic for today? We're gonna get into a little of that discussion. When is the right time that artists should start charging for features and shows or shows and features? Whatever, basically. So yeah. how they call in and Hey y'all, call in 248-579-5295. 
248-579-5295. The topic is it. the topic is when should artists start charging for features and shows? Shows and hmm. features. Hmm. Call in real quick. We want to hmm. hear some insight. So for for you fellas, any one of y'all can go first. I feel like the artist should probably charge. It, it depends on where they feel that their worth is. Um, you know, I mean, I, nobody expects to, you know what I'm saying, perform or, you know, do stuff like that forever. So I say, like, once they've got, they've created a big buzz and they're in demand, I feel like at that point they should probably more than likely start charging. What about you, Stack? Uh, you? Me personally, should, you know, um, no, I'm a grindaholic. So, uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to that hustle, I just feel like once you create a good enough following, like even if it's mm-hmm. just a, you know a couple hundred people, a couple thousand, whoever yeah. listening to you, you know what I'm saying that uh, you should be able to be getting paid for your craft, for your art, you know, because you got these people that love your music. So why not get paid for it? Of course, you know what I'm saying you look out for the fans, give them stuff for free, do features, you know what I'm saying shows and all that stuff for free, but. Um, it comes to a point where this is a this is a life lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? So this is our income, this is our job, you know, to provide good music for our fans. So um, I feel like any type of situation like that, you should be getting paid for it regardless of if you got like a million people listening to you or a yeah, thousand, thousand right. you know what I'm saying? So uh, I charge, you know, off the rip, but it'd be some, you know what I'm saying? And reason. Yeah, Reasonable, reason. Yeah. 50, 100 dollars, you know what I'm saying? But Something. no free. Yeah, no free. Right, right. So yeah. you feel like at a point in your career right now, both of y'all, you know, so you feel like at a point in your career now, y'all should be getting compensated for shows. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. In some way. Yeah. I feel like I don't care where, like, if you lower or you not, I feel like. If you have to, like, say if you're an unknown artist, I feel like if you have to come out of your pocket, like, I got to record, and so that means I'm paying for the studio time to record on you. You should at least compensate me for the studio time. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. At least, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's free, just pay. Because if I was coming to your studio, you would have to pay for the studio time. See what I'm saying? Right, right. So I feel like you should be getting paid. You know, you, that should be automatic you know and i feel like um f- for feature it's just like i said what do you feel like you worth you know what i'm saying what do you feel like you worth but i feel like in charging you got to be reasonable with yourself exactly you know Absolutely. what i'm saying and be real with yourself mm-hmm. yeah you, you got guys out here that's you know what i'm saying charging an arm and a leg and it's just like bro like you you kind of on the same level you know what i'm saying to be but charging even if, a even if you're not thousand dollars for, you know what I'm saying, for just an appearance half the time. So, I mean, like you said, you know, you got to be reasonable with these prices too, you know. Now, Royce, um, how do you feel? When should an um, artist charge? I say even if you're at the lowest of the low, I say if you're coming out of pocket to do the verse, you should at least compensate me for the studio time because you will have to pay that anyway if I'm coming yeah, to do the verse. Yeah, man, like if you're an upcoming artist and the artist want to do a song with you and they ask you to do a song, they should pay for the studio time and the mixing of the song. Now, my question to y'all, how many views on YouTube and how many uh, followers do you think somebody should really start charging, you know, for features? When you stuff, say really shows? start charging, how much is, like, what you mean when you say like, really? So when I say really, like really a 1000 and up. You know what I'm saying? Like 500 that's straight. That's like lower the totem pole. Like people might have like 10K followers. I'm talking about thousands of followers, and uh, it when should you start charging a thousand dollars? When do you think? Like, I think. Um, go ahead, y'all can go. I mean, I I guess like uh, I guess like Stack was saying, like when you have, you know, what I'm saying a, a huge following when you have a, a good enough following. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a million people or whatever. But if you got, you know, a thousand people, I feel like that's good enough of a following uh, for you to start charging people. Uh, I just feel like <coughs> whoever. Uh, is it good enough to charge a thousand dollars, though? Mm. Oh, no, no. I, I wouldn't say it would be good enough to charge a thousand dollars. But like you said, a reasonable amount, a reasonable amount. So what about you, Uh Me, you know, um. No, I love. I just love doing music. 
So, you know, when it comes to, you know, being compensated, I'm very reasonable. You know what I'm saying? So at when this do point, you feel like you should start charging a thousand dollars at one point? Uh a thousand dollars, I feel like I should be charging a thousand dollars once um uh let's just say uh I moved. It depends on the units that's moved, bro. Mm-hmm. Just to be for real, how many people is uh is how about, listening. Cause, uh I mean I feel like my music is the greatest music out, but at the same time, I still have to be fair. Your following, yeah, but you yeah. you want to know what one thing that I uh, notice about the music game, like I'm, when it's time for people to pay or people respect your art enough where they want to pay you, they don't come and be like, "Yo, let's work, let's network." They come straight in your inbox and be like, "Yo, how much you charge for features or how much you charge to be booked yeah, to yeah, show right. up?" You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it just depends on who value your art because. You know what I'm saying? I've been paid for shows before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just depends on who value your music and respect your craft. Because, like, it's not always about followers either. But that's what some think, people try to validate your, you know, your talents is. Well, I think the breakdown, of, you know, the initial idea for charging and what it was for shows and features. Okay, if I charge you, if you charge me $1,000, can I make $1,000 off this song? If I book you and pay you $1,000, can I make $1,000 just by you coming? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think um, that is the initial idea of it. How do y'all feel about that? Because I feel like if I pay you $1,000, I feel like I should see that back. You well, know that's, how some yeah, promo- sure. that's how yeah. some promoters are. You know, they feel like if they invest in you, they should make it back and, and more. And more. Yeah, and more, depending sure, on. But yeah. I should, but at the very least, by saying such and such is going to be here, I should make $1,000. Now, more, the more, the overkill would be my promotion and how hard I go on the little tools and fuses I do to make that happen. But um, a lot of people, they charge that, but, you know, you don't see that type of stuff back. How many times have you seen artists on the come up pay for features? You know, I'm talking about thousands, mm-hmm. you know, for features, and they ain't went nowhere. nowhere. Well, that's you because know. actually that they're not good. <laughs> right. You know, that's just the <laughs> real. Good music. Like, you're not good. <laughs> like, it don't matter who you, like, I know people with uh, Sada on songs, they got PZ on songs, and they songs, like, not doing numbers. You know it's why because it it's not Because it's not a good song. And, think, and, and, and I'm going to say this, because I know what you're going to. You're going to say, song oh, because the part. artist's not promoting it. <laughs> A lot of times, people looking for these artists. Exactly. They looking for the artists. Mm-hmm. So if they just come across like Royce Fan featuring Peasy, and it's good and they like it, they go share the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's automatic. He go make the. I'm gonna make the money back. They go share it. It's gonna catch the buzz. Now a lot of times when people do these features, you can't really blame the artists because they did their job. They got their buzz. Yeah. Why is it that they videos doing a million views? And I got a, a video with them, and that shit only did ten thousand. That's because the song's not good, and he just did the feature. Yeah, but see, too, how much was you doing? How many views were you doing before him on your own? So if I'm only doing close to a thousand, or barely doing a thousand, and I get you now, I'm getting a quick ten thousand. That's progress. That is progress, you know but that's saying? not money. But that's not money wise. Y- y'all not money wise. Not that's money, definitely right. progress, but I but will, you don't want to be an artist that buy features all the time because you right. want people to respect your craft as an individual. For you, instead right. of trying to make a name, you know, yeah. because yeah, you but can see, wave ride all you want. Your career ain't going nowhere because there's plenty of artists. I done seen this through the '90s and 2000s. A lot of cats with street money. They buy all these features and they was terrible. Like the really the only people that came out that bought features from Detroit that was good was Street Lords. That's because the street love Blade. He sold records. People loved him. Other than that, it's plenty of other people. You got other people, not not mentioning their names. They done bought hella features, way more than Blade put, way more money into their craft, but they didn't blow up. Another example, T. Stucky, one of the biggest Puritan dope dealers ever. He, you know, he was in Don Diva. He did music. He was terrible. He didn't go nowhere. But that's too because he was indicted early before he could. But he was, his music yeah, was terrible. Was Did you but listen see, to T. Sucking music? Yeah, but terrible. see, I, I, I don't. No, I never even heard but see, the thing about it is, though, I can't get off into what's terrible because a lot of shit that's hot now, I think is terrible. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. So it's all about personal preference. So we can't go by what's because what's good to you may not be good. Yeah, but to somebody thing, but else. But what it's I'm saying is terrible. And I'm how not it, saying to me because uh, what's terrible to me. Might be good to the people. What I'm exactly. saying, and when I say terrible, I'm not saying on my personal opinion. I'm saying it's terrible where the people didn't choose the song. It's terrible. 
Yeah, but it could be too a lot of reasons behind why they didn't. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't promote the song right. It wasn't promoted right because you got to remember when you buying these features, you also got to put money in promoting the record too. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? But like then all where's, that. Where's the benefit for you? Because now, okay, say you get Sada Baby for a song, he probably want five thousand for a feature. Cool. Okay, you got to put another fifteen into it to blow to only get. Fifty thousand views. Why yeah, if they not. A if they not, um, like it, it all depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a, a um, if you're looking for money, a money return, then that's one thing. If you're looking for fame, that's another. Yeah, but you know fame, but fame is terrible. When it all boils down, we we in it for money. People, we in it for money. Cause shit, it depend on the negotiation you set up with the deal as far as the feature. Because if you didn't do a contract with Sada Baby. And the song do blow up, but he's on a song, and you didn't do a contract. Right. He can go right. to the concert and perform his verse. Yeah, you're right. And the right, people right. get hyped. Yeah. So it's all really how you handle your business. Yeah, that too. That too. And I've seen that happen too. As far as a lot of artists, they might buy features. The artist is big. They doing that verse at the concert, and they not making no money. They at home sitting on the couch while these people touring in front of thousands of people because their business not straight. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It also like I think it also depends on um. It depends on what. On what, like I say, on what you're looking for, when yeah. you do this stuff. Yeah. yeah, it depends on like what are you looking for when you when you paying this money and things of that nature. Like what's the. Yeah, I think it's. Return? I think it's also just like you're saying, like just networking and um. And just promotion. A lot of it uh, is due to promotion. Sometimes you'll have a great song that may resonate with the fans and stuff or it may resonate with a lot of people, but some people, some artists just don't have necessarily the right backing, you know what I'm saying, to be able to, you know, get get the music where they want to. And a lot of people just, you know. All right, well, that was Add Me Up, gang. You know, check them out at $5 Sundays this Sunday. Ace Envy, um, yes, Stack B, thanks for coming in. Oh, uh, y'all make sure y'all. That's God, check, set me free. Okay, can I say something real quick before we get up off here? Uh, y'all make sure y'all go get Finesse God. It's, uh, it's everywhere on all media outlets, iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, Groove, all that, you know what I'm saying, Pandora and stuff. But uh, follow me on uh, Instagram at Stack B 500, S T A K B. 500. Add me up, gang, in the building. I'm going to post a link for y'all. 500 life. 500. We got Stash House in the building. Stash House. Let's go. Kill Ray. Yachty Hell, Stash House. The Stash House. We got uh, the Stash House in the building, man, for $5 Sundays two weeks ago, man. They came and they rocked the stage. You know what I'm saying? They did their thing. They brought their people out, man, like artists should. Y'all need to bring y'all peoples out, man, and uh, get y'all support. They got the gear going on. They got the rap. Uh, yeah, we got the Introduce brand. yourself, man. Yeah, this Fofo Kiroi tapping in one time. Your man's from the Aider. You know what I'm saying? Fo follow me on everything. Kiroi Fofo 8. Stash House the Movement. Stash House TH3 on everything. We got, a lot of, we got a lot going on. We got the brand. We got the music. And we just trying to keep it going. What up, though, y'all? This Cash Shoes represents Stash House. Cash Shoes, stupid on IG uh, with two O's. Not, I'm you stupid, uh, all stupid. We all stupid. Uh, Cash Shoes 313 on Twitter and everything. It's Cash Shoes, Stash House. We in the building. Oh, I, oh, and I'm representing Colorado, just in case y'all ain't know. That's what's up. I didn't Colorado see you. in the building. You was at the show. Oh, yeah. You oh, rat? Yeah. Nah. I yeah, I didn't wrong call. I remember Kilroy. Yeah. I remember Kilroy. Oh, yeah, shout out. Good mm -hmm. performance. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <clears throat> You know what was it? What was your experience like at the five dollar Sunday performing? Oh, it was great. It was a good crowd. You know what I'm saying? Everybody came through and messed around with the music. So it was it was it was just real fun. You know, it was a real fun crowd. And I was I was happy to be there for real. Y'all got a good thing going. All right, appreciate good you. look, good looking. I appreciate. It. I thank y'all too for coming. So I out, see. You know? So I see y'all got the shirts on, man. Perp, man. What is the Stash House Perp on there? Explain to me what's that, man. Yeah, hey, that's the good single. <laughs> good single. What up, though, Detroit? Your boy Ken Yachty. Purp is uh, the single we just put off of Stash House featuring me, likewise, uh, Hypno the Great, produced by 420 Face. Shout out Face Mob. Yeah. It was just a good song, you know, we wanted to put out, we've been working hard uh, as a group, individual solos and everything, so we've been performing it.
We won a DJ BJ contest a couple of times with it. So he told us to send it to him. He sent it to him, put it out. Now it's everywhere. Go check it out. Spotify, iTunes. Everything. So BJ played it on the radio? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had a little rotation when we won. Shout out to DJ BJ. That's what's up. Okay. So what y'all got coming up, man? Everything, whole lot of house wave, whole lot of house wave oh, right now. Let us know, man. What's popping with the and house? And I got man. the EP done. It's dropping very, very, very soon. And I got a video coming for y'all probably this Friday. You know what I'm saying? Four, four, the low. Four, four, Kilroy. You know what I'm saying? Look uh, for me on everything. Four, four, yeah. Kilroy. Four, four, eight on Instagram. Shit, I just dropped uh, the shooters uh, with me off the sample project. We dropped that last year. Dope video. Video just released. So go check that out on YouTube. King Yadi. Uh, I'm pushing that way. That's what we performed at the $5. Yeah, so, I remember that. Yeah, that's the next single. So really, I'm, gonna just, I'm about to go full-fledged hard with that one. So we're going to promote that one, keep putting it out here in these streets, uh, travel with it. Then I'm going to release that with the video. Video done. I ain't releasing it yet. We're just going to get this real promo on this one. Man, the video uh, dope, too. Video dope. Video <laughs> super Shout out dope. to Tater yeah. Shooters and uh, <laughs> Three Six Vision. I man. hear I hear a lot of y'all. I hear y'all um, talking about a lot of solo projects. When can we expect the Stash House group project? That's out right now. The sample, yeah, we dropped that last year. So uh, that's where everybody. How many every- artists is it actually? Uh, yeah, shout out everybody. Shout out man. to everybody. Shout out to Likewise. Uh, that's our rap artist we got. Shout out to J Health. He an R&B artist. Shout out to he ain't R&B Josh artist. Josh Winter season. Josh another dope Winter one season. we got. Yes, he from Atlanta. He down here doing his wave. And uh, we got Kilroy Four Four. You know what I'm saying? Man, That's what no. we pushing it right now. In, uh, 18. So let's go. So when y'all um. So when is can when can we expect y'all to do more shows? Like when y'all next show? Are y'all doing tours or anything? Yeah, like that? this year right now we uh we just getting the business together because uh we we doing independent. We oh, had okay. a lot of people come at us, a lot of three sixty deals, a lot of bullshit, yeah. seventy thirty deals. So we just oh, had the craziness. Yeah, we <laughs> got to get our mind together so look, and everything. So me, I know about this. Uh, the new, the new venue, the new place uh-huh. on uh, what's that? Right next door to Strictly's. Uh huh. When can we expect that a grand opening? Okay, okay, yeah, oh, yeah get to it, yeah. yeah. Shout out, shout out to my boy Diego Boss. That's my partner, man. First Big of brother. all, he uh, he behind the scenes. He do a lot of shit uh, for us. He hold the house down, a lot of business, a lot of planning he got going on with that. So he put a building together. We want to go talk about that, but uh, right. <laughs> we got something covered for the city, man. Uh, I'm pushing for July. I want to do something for July 4th, man. Well, hey, I've but, been in there. That mug is spacious, man. Yeah, that's spacious. Yeah, it's going so to be whatever you want it to be. It's going to be for the culture, us. man. We're going to have shit for the artists, for the designers. for every, like We the culture, man. The artists, artiste. So how did mm-hmm. everybody? Yeah, so. the designers, all that. All that, man. <laughs> That's what's up. So how did this movement come together? Like how did Stash House <laughs> concrete? Come Con- yeah, yeah, man. Stash concrete. House go way back. You got to start back to uh, our early days when me and Yego was uh, like just in the streets, just trying to get a name out here. Uh, I was an artist, and he was in school for business and marketing. That so uh, we were just coming up. We came up behind uh, Quest McCarty, Dro. Uh, Hydro, Sino, and all that. So they was really doing it for real, and we was coming up behind them, but we was watching the business and watching the steps that wasn't being really took and bound. Right, the, just the seriousness. and back for a minute. Yeah, so as we've been traveling, and uh, he went to school in Ohio, graduated. I went to Atlanta. I was working with a lot of people down there. We just came back like, man, we got to put our city on. Let's really do it for real. So mm-hmm. I got a question, because you know I've been watching how do you feel about the uh, showcases that's going on now? Because you've been grinding for a minute now, man. Like, we done been at these showcases yeah. ready to bang Monday, yeah, Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. How do you feel about the new uh, era of showcases in uh, the uh, state of hip-hop in Detroit right now? First of all, I want to say shout-out to Royce fan. Because Royce fan have been yeah. grinding to put it on. He, he had dog-ass showcases Big before Royce. everybody doing that. So, shout-out. There's a lot of people, too. Uncle P, a lot of y'all. Uh... I, I love to perform, so I'm be trying to hit everything. I understand you gotta grind, but uh, they get let me say they getting better with the with the ideals they dropping. But it's like y'all promoters, y'all gotta really fuck with the artists, man. Like go get the artist that really got a movement. Go get the artist that's really doing something. All like, together though, it's dope for the city. Yeah, though. it's dope as hell. Oh, real dope f- for the fuck city. Fuck your friends or fuck somebody that think they doing something. They popping and they ain't coming with nobody. Like you feel me? Like y'all really get these artists that's really bringing ten to twenty people out with them. If y'all motherfuckers do that, y'all gonna have a hell of a show. 
That's all I want to say. But the ideals and the shit I'm seeing for all these different shows, uh, it's a show we just got put on the 21st at the Senate Theater. It uh, holds 900 people. Uh, shout out to Great Lake Fam with that. Oh, yeah, so they show on that. Yeah, shout Where out is to that them. at? I never heard That's of it. That's on uh, Michigan and Livernois. It's just a theater. I Googled it. That motherfucking nice, too. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. See, right nine, across nine from uh, Diamonds. The heart. One of them yeah. Yeah. AKA, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah. uh mm-hmm. Sting. No, um. They changed it so many times. Damn, man. <laughs> right. No, you, <laughs> you know, know, you know how to, Detroit do. I used to throw parties. <laughs> we used to throw parties at it. What's the big strip club over there on Michigan Avenue we used to throw parties at? You talking about. Um, this Diamonds not. Oh, no. you Sting. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So shout out to them. We go be there at 24. But I. I love the shows, man. Like all I can just say is like, re- just really fuck with the real artists. Don't just throw a show for money, man. And people just giving you fifty dollars or thirty dollars. Like really go get these artists that got a movement, man. So how did you think about the five dollars? We asked Kilroy, you uh, how did the five dollar Sunday? Five dollar Sunday was dope. I mean, there's a lot of energy. We had fun with that motherfucker. Yeah. Shout out to y'all for yeah, that. Was that, 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 yeah, that was hype as hell too. Yeah, that was rocked. There's some ladies in there too that yeah, night, that man. Was dope. That's what man. I'm saying. Like bartenders was getting it. All all types of junk. Yeah. Man. yeah. Yeah, it's like I said. Shout out to the whole big business fam for that one. That was was nice. The that was, great that was big dope. business family. You know yeah, yeah, it was it was All supporters that. in there. I ain't see a whole bunch of rappers. Let's put it like let that. Let me let me tell you this too, cause I had to just check to make sure I didn't want to lie to y'all. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like, uh, congratulations, y'all. Y'all, when y'all got the um, when we was choosing artists to be on the interview, y'all made first ballot, which means Appreciate everybody it. on the panel voted y'all in. Oh, that's Appreciate dope. It. Everybody, <laughs> it wasn't nobody that didn't vote y'all in so congratulations and that's why i was anxious to have you up here to see why these people voted you in and people support yeah. y'all like they do yeah. you know? death, death. Death. we've been grinding man we've been pushing like i said we started off with just pushing me as an artist and it got big like bringing producers in j-dub uh shout out to j-dub special, hits. uh 420 phase bringing kilroy in bringing josh in so it's like it, it, y'all just see me now because I've I've been grinding for a long time. It's been a couple of years, but we do have a lot of great talent uh, that's coming out, and y'all are definitely about to see them. We dropping the low ASAP. We dropping Winter Caesar ASAP. We dropping oh, yeah, like ASAP. coming soon, so, all platforms. Yeah, I'm about to get out the way. I'm about to just drop that <laughs> way and push that bit. I'm about to get out the way because they got a wave coming, in, and, and I know what it is, and I know what the sound they need. A whole to lot hear. of drip. A whole lot wanna, of drip. Coming. So look, we got a topic of the day, man. <laughs> The topic of the day was, when is the right time for artists to start charging for shows and features? Oh, that's a dope question. That's a dope question. I feel uh, like I feel like artists as a whole, like, I heard a quote. I, I, I can quote this. I, don't, I think it's a weird quote, though. It was like Nicki Minaj or something. <laughs> but look, it was like, uh, like, never be scared to ask for, like, top dollar if you feel like you're the best at your craft. So I feel like if you feel like you're a dope artist, go ahead and ask for it. You know what I'm saying? Because the worst somebody could tell you is no. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing your self worth is just probably like a big part of it. But I said, but it's a on the other hand, like it's it's a fan base type thing too. Definitely, that's what I was gonna say. I like gonna say you fan base. Like if you can see the artist bring in some fill them seats and bring some ticket sales in, you know what I'm saying? Could deserve it. So basically, you just said um, what I said. I said if you charge like for instance, if I get if I get um stash house a thousand dollars to perform, that means y'all can bring me a thousand dollars. That's it. Is. Saying, and so that's how you should that's charge you should based on that's how you can charge. I know like I know how many <laughs> right. people I'm coming with me. If I got like I say, stop, we for real and, and everybody that booked this y'all know if we come we come in ten, fifteen, twenty deep, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's it's planned out right. So if y'all charging all my people ten to twenty dollars to come in, I know y'all mm-hmm. making almost four hundred dollars off me. I ain't stupid, you feel me? <laughs> y'all just got me out here jumping around on stage. Oh, in other words, up. we gonna text that ass. Yeah, are y'all, that ass. Are y'all I'm coming um, for y'all, motherfuckers? Are y'all at the point? You know, don't even say no number because I'll probably got management of things like that. So don't get too deep in the business. But are y'all charging for features and shows? Nah, or? it's all love right now, man. Like we, grind, I, I love working with everybody. Yeah, man. sometimes I had yeah, guys come, like I got, got guys hit me. Up sometimes like just come to the stool. We charge for beats because we do yeah. production. You know we engineering, our, we well. engineering our own shit. We making our own beats. We shooting our own video. You know so when we y'all see the stash house, that's so what the stash house all us. about. That's our culture. Everything is us. So y'all come fuck with us. Come fuck with us. We charge y'all for the whole culture. Y'all go get everything. So uh, I got a question too. Do y'all do research on artists before y'all do features, man? Cause you know, it's yeah. a lot of rap niggas, man, <laughs> out here. They phony, man. And <laughs> niggas, man, niggas, niggas be fake as hell. I'm gonna say, so far we kept everything in house. Uh, 
me and Royce got some shit coming too. But yeah, man. we kept everything in house. So I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't no folk. I ain't no phony. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's selective artists that I work with. It's a lot of people that are doing shit. I heard that I work with, but it's like. I ain't fucking with you if you ain't really moving, if you ain't really gotta solid. You got to have movement you know behind saying? you. You like, got to have something solid. going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't I can't just be making something just to be of, making them. I got, I got a lot of youngers up under me that, that's really doing this music shit, but I'm solid. I'm from the street for Suppressive. real. Are, yeah. y'all, are y'all willing to work with, uh, like, say, an upcoming artist? They like what y'all doing. They see the movement, but they don't have the price that you willing to charge. Would y'all negotiate? Yeah, most definitely. If this is like a dope artist, you know what I'm saying. Like vibes can be felt. You know what I'm saying. Things can, like, anything can happen. So, cause one thing that I just saw, man, I was just on the internet. I got a reference to it. I seen a dude. He make grills. I also do grills too. Mm-hmm. A dude. Oh, yeah, I need one. <laughs> I'll at me. Like a dude inboxed him, and he asked him, "Did he have CZs and stuff?" And he uh, screenshotted and put him on blast. I think that's just bad business because. All right, if you don't do CZs, like people ask me that all the all time right. with, you know, doing grills. If you don't do CZs, just say, you know, I don't do, I it, don't do it, but I can do you some gemstones. Like, we don't mess with CZs, but if you want some emeralds, you want some sapphires, right. we we'll mess Swarovski, with them. You know what, saying? You know what I'm saying? We we'll would mess with that, but you can't put people on blast, you know, speak down on them because, like, Everybody don't always have it. Every it's yeah, a lot of people upcoming. So yeah. no, we came from shit, bro. Like we right. talking basements, closets, like sleeping on food. Right, that's like I somebody remember. asking for a feature, and I'm like, yeah, nah, you don't even got shit. money for a video. Yeah. So why would I do a feature with yeah. you? But nobody, some people like that see, though, man. I see, seen yeah. somebody post something, a, a well-known artist in Detroit. I'm gonna leave that anonymous, <laughs> but he was like, yeah, what's the point of doing a feature if you ain't doing a video? And I just thought. That's gonna fuck your money up. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Today's game is content, but, man. You gotta drop if y'all, if y'all, if y'all be y'all okay. Keep playing if y'all want, man. Y'all gotta <laughs> fuck. Like I'm, I'm serious, bro. These motherfuckers making videos off of phones. They making music right on their laptop. Like it's, it's crazy. Like the wave that's coming and, and the platform that they setting up for these artists to go ahead and get this money. Like, all right, y'all, y'all arrogant motherfuckers keep playing if y'all want. These young niggas about to come and run the game, bro. They and hungry. that's why I got a, a house full of them, and I'm about to move out the way and let them niggas run the whole Facts. fucking game, bro. Like, we running. Like, we did a song a day challenge when I had every artist in there make sure they make a song a day. We got over 100 songs ready to come for y'all, man. And we know a lot of y'all ain't want to fuck with us. So we put our own money up. We got our we own jewels. We it. got our own cars. We got our own clothes, nigga. We coming for y'all. And I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's real talk. So, so I know how I feel when the up with the upper tiers they want to come fuck with you. You feel me? So I definitely know how that feel. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm in a position to put my youngest. I'm putting them on. And anybody want to come fuck with the house, come fuck with us, man. Like for real. But you got to be working. Don't tell me y'all doing this, and y'all ain't. You feel me? That's mm-hmm. all we about. Cause we gonna find out. For real. But you also got to be careful too, man. The artists that want to, uh, you know, build a. Um, relationship with you too man because a lot of dudes they uh use you as a stepping stone yeah, they so will, you always want to be aware of that you definitely too, oh yeah you definitely like i said we ain't so far we ain't fuck with too many motherfuckers so like y'all go see the people that we do fuck with shout out to daz diligent i got a track with him coming on too this that's summer. what's up man daz yeah i'm legend. grinding with that so uh like yeah we fuck with a lot of people shout out to cino he he moving hard that's big homie Royce fan moving, you yeah. feel me? Like this shot to everybody, everybody dropping shot to T He's Villa, real, he moving. Man, like, shout out to everybody. This, this shot to everybody moving. That's really doing real shit, man. Like well, shout y'all Instagram out, man, because we coming to the All end. Right, oh. So my Instagram, Fofo Kilroy. Fofo Kilroy. Actually, Kilroy Fofo Eight. Let me reiterate my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Kilroy Fofo Eight on Instagram. Follow me. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see my video drops and keep up with my music. It's a music page, so don't think you're just going to be on there looking at my son all the time or nothing <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm King Yachty. That's K-I-N-G underscore Y-A-D-E-E. And I'm King Yachty on everything. Shout out all y'all people, oh, yeah, man, and, from the stash. Uh, the stash house page, TH3 stash TH3. house. That's that's the group page. That's the label y'all page. Call the line, stash house, closet. Whatever you want on there is going to be on there. Shout out to everybody. Like, run through them again. Uh, Yego Boss, that's the uh, head of the business, everything. Let's put us together. Shout out to yeah, producers yeah. J Dub, Face Mob, Motizi Beats, Vito Special. Shout out to Likewise, our artist J Health, uh, Kilroy Fofo, Young Josh. I'm King Yachty. He ain't run leak. And like I said, we do our production videos, whatever. All Go check our us artwork, out. Man. All everything yeah. is in house. In house. So we ready to work, man, and just put on for the city and, Most and really show them that we can do it together. Okay. Oh, cool. Everybody, whatever they say. <laughs> yeah, show them that shit, man. Stop talking about it. 
Okay, that's what it is. That was Stash House. Follow him. And um, again, yeah. congratulations. First ballot, you know, yes, $5 yes. Sunday winners, you know, come this Sunday. And stay tuned in. Be tuned in every Thursday from 5 to 6. Live on Big Business Gang Radio. Big Business Powered Gang Radio. Podcast he trading exclusive visions. I know what it is. Yeah. House. Yeah. Four, four on your home, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>